What is up? This is your LA in a minute. And today I want to focus on something really special to the city of Los Angeles and unique to the world, the Watts Towers. So Italian immigrant Simon Sabato Rodia purchased a piece of property in Watts in 1921 and for the next 34 years worked tirelessly using pottery shards, dishes, glass bottles, tile, anything he could get his hands on to build this amazing one-of-a-kind structure until 1955 after 34 years he named it Nuestro Pueblo and just left never to see the artwork ever again. So Rodia was four foot ten. He loved the opera. He scorned the Catholic Church, and he started the towers soon after he quit drinking after another one of his failed marriages. He built these towers by hand, by himself, and without any machine tools. No nails, no scaffolding, and no written plans. Most of the elements he needed, he laid out on the ground and carried them up in buckets along with his tools and assembled them in place. He had no drill and no bolts to hold together the pieces of steel that he used. He called the project Nuestro Pueblo, perhaps as a nod to the diverse community of Latino, white, Japanese, and black families in the area at the time. While he was building the project and immediately after, Rodia never seemed to give the same answer twice when they asked why he was doing it. And after 34 years in 1955, he finally bolted to Martinez, California, never to see his creation again. So when Rodia left, he simply gave the property to a neighbor who let the towers fall into disarray. And by the mid-1950s, the L.A. city sought to condemn the towers, saying they were a safety hazard. A preservation effort coalesced, and two young men, Nicholas King and William Cartwright, pulled $3,000 with only a $20 deposit to buy the property to preserve the artwork. King and Cartwright donated the land to the newly formed committee for Simon Rodia's towers in Watts. So the tallest tower is 99.5 feet high, and when the city declared it a danger, in order to tear it down, they had to perform a stress test. What they did was attach a steel cable to each tower and connected to a crane exerted 10,000 pounds of lateral force. The towers didn't budge, and the city was forced to declare the Watts Towers structurally sound, and they lifted the demolition order. Directly adjacent to the Watts Towers is the Watts Towers Community Center, where L.A. legend Nipsey Hussle first took music classes as a youth. He names the community center as a direct impact on his success later in life. After his untimely death in 2019, there was an altar built at the base of the towers in his honor. These days, the towers are protected as a state park and under conservation through a city contract with the L.A. County Museum of Art. As one critic said, it's a miracle. A thing like that only happens once in a million years. You really need to check it out. All right, LA, it's been a minute.